it's very important for you to understand who we are and what we're doing in this particular market, okay? What we try to do with Proto is we try to create an organization where we have people that are able to support Polish companies mm, for them to be competitive in the European market. We have a lot of Polish partners that don't actually know or at least don't have experience in manufacturing products that are competitive on a European scale. Proton, of course, would, would probably go the same way as initially with the construction materials, which I have to initially concentrate on seminars, on participation in, in exhibitions, in order to familiarize engineers, institutes with the new generation of composite materials. There is a new challenge, really, it is uh, which shifts our interest. Uh, into tooling and composite materials. We were asked by uh, some of our colleagues at the Institute uh, and, uh, of uh, Foundries that Polish foundries will have to face a very strong competition from India and from China. The only way out is to really modernize. What we do is we put together all the tools, all the know-how, and I believe also create a system, a whole system for a production process where a client is able to go to one company and is able to get all the necessary tools they need to produce and manufacture effective parts and effective equipment. This requires project-based jobs. So when a client has a specific project, we build an entire system focused around this project. We don't go to company A or company B and see what we can sell. We find out what their projects are and how we can increase the competitiveness of this project by economic means. Are certain materials more economically justifiable? Mm. Another point that's very important also is if these are economically justifiable, how will it reflect in the entire production process? At what stages can we actually help them increase the quality of the product? and also to highly increase the price effectiveness of the project.